Okay, we're gonna try to pick this guy up without getting bitten. I'm not going to hurt you. I just need to move you. He's getting tighter. See how he's getting tighter and tighter and tighter? That means he can strike further and further. So, I'm not sure what the best way to grab this guy is. He's not letting me get near him. I'll show you something really cool about these snakes. See, he's wiggling, you see him wiggling his tail like that? He's imitating, he's purposely imitating a rattlesnake See his tail rat see his tail move right there? When he sees my hand come over here, he'll actually move his little tail like a rattlesnake to scare me. He's pulling up like that. The more they coil up like that, the further they can strike. So I'm done bugging him. I'm not sure. We just need to pick him up and, and move him because obviously we don't want him out in the middle of the lawn. So. In my hand, you see a snake. One of my neighbors found the snake in their yard. It was hissing and striking at them, so we went to check it out. It turns out that this is a gopher snake. A lot of people get these confused with rattlesnakes. So I'm not a snake expert, but I happen to know that this is not a rattlesnake. But I wanted to get him out and show him to you if he'll, if he'll get out of this little ball here. I'm a little nervous that he might bite me. That's why I have the glove on. But I think I'm gonna take the glove off he seems pretty calm this morning, but maybe it's because he's still cold and hasn't woken up yet. So get him onto my hand here. He'll feel the warmth of that sun and the warmth of my hand there. And it'll kind of wake him up a little bit. In the meantime, I'll try to take this glove off and we're gonna try to gently get him to wake up. Come on, buddy. It's morning time. How you doing? Get in here, get a close up on his face. You can see he's hidden under there. Under this little ball here. Oh, there he is. Apparently he's camera shy. Doesn't want to be on camera this morning. But we're gonna see if we can get him to wake up here. Come here, buddy. Come on. Nobody likes to be woken up, so <laughs> I want to be particularly careful with him this morning. But anyways, you can see his head is more streamlined, right? If you look on there, where a rattlesnake's head is going to be more diamond shaped. Rattlesnakes also have giant pits right at their nose. And this guy, he looks more like a water snake if you look really closely there. The markings on a rattlesnake are pretty similar to this. You see here but they're more diamond shaped and yesterday in the cage this guy was actually rattling his tail at us like this you know as any and striking and hissing that's actually something that uh, this particular type of snake which is a gopher snake they like to do they mimic a rattlesnake when they're striking and hissing at you it's because they're afraid or scared and so if you just kind of let them slowly glide through your hands like I'm doing right here you can't make quick movements but if you just slowly let them slide through your hands like this they they're pretty comfortable so you can see he's not striking or hissing or anything this morning and I thought for sure I'd get bitten today Give you a nice close-up of his head there anyways for those of you who live in areas where there's a lot of snakes, hopefully this information helps you. All right guys, behind me is a gopher snake. You can see he's coiled up, ready to strike. I don't wanna get any closer than this or he'll bite me. I don't really wanna get bitten, even though gopher snakes are not venomous. So um, if I was to get bitten by the snake, it would be my own fault because that means I was getting too close and I was bothering him and I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna bother him but we do need to release him back into the wild today. Most of the animals you see, especially snakes and things like that, are protected. So you can't keep them as pets. So you gotta let them go. 
he's coiled up, he's ready to strike. So interestingly, yeah, I was just holding him a few seconds ago and he was fine. But now that I've set him in the grass, he's getting defensive. He is in defense mode. See, he's coiled up like this, the way they get that little S shape in their neck. That means they'll, they're getting ready to strike out when they strike out at you. He seems pretty calm, so I don't think he's gonna strike at me. He's smelling the air with his tongue and he can see me for sure. If I move, watch this, he'll follow me. Let's keep his eyes on me because I'm a predator to him. See that? He'll follow me in a full circle if I go in a full circle. And if I reach my hand out right now, he'll probably bite me. You can see him taking those deep breaths. His body gets big and then small. He's just warming up to that sun. Snakes use the sun as their energy, as their form of energy. So the warmer he gets, the quicker he'll be able to move. Okay, as I reached down to pick him up a second ago, he got kind of angry at me and started coiling up like this and shaking his tail at me like he was a rattlesnake. Okay, so I'm not trying to antagonize this snake, but I do need to pick him up to move him. So he's probably gonna strike at me because he just was hissing at me a second ago. But I do want to pick him up because I need to move him. See? Come here. Come here. Oh, so you can see he's, yeah, he would have bit me on my hand right there, which is crazy because just a moment ago, he was fine and allowing me to hold him. So if you listen closely, move the camera a little closer. You can hear him hissing. Okay, well, I need to pick him up. He's not gonna like it. He's definitely gonna strike at me. I can tell he's in his defensive position. He's angry. I don't wanna be angry, but I do have to move him, so. Buddy, come on. You gotta go. It's time to go. Come here. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to cause trouble here. I just wanna pick you up. He's, uh, he's just defending himself. I'm not sure the best way to, to pick him up because he's pretty much moving. If I could get him from behind, I'd be better. See, as you can see, He's just feeling threatened. Thanks for watching. If you found this information helpful or found this video entertaining, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.